we back at the crib. It's ready to pop off. David, is there anybody on this roster that has more fun playing football than you? Uh, man, that's a hard question. I'm not sure. I, I love playing football, man, especially out there. Everything that comes with it, the competition, you know, the, the trash talk, uh, all that, you know, plays a part. I love it. You even, like, practice, it looks like. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, when we, you know, we get better, that's where I can, you know, we form into a team, you know, so. That's how we get the chemistry, and that's how you know we play off each other. That's practice is a big part for me. How much fun is it being a linebacker for Mike Brave? It's a lot of fun, you know. Of course, because he's played, so he has a lot of insight and stuff like that. And he cares, you know. So the little things, you know, even some things I might not notice, you know, he can help me on and help us on. Whenever you know he comes to coaches, you know, it's big. So you know, I take it into account into my game. You know how uh, how it helps me. He's extra tough on the linebackers, though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, as he should. You know, linebacker is like you know most of the quarterback of the defense most of the time, or as it should be. Well, it's a big well, it's a responsibility you know, for us to you know, not only know our job, but know everybody around this job. So we interviewed the rookies a few weeks back, and one of the questions we asked them is, did they know Mike Grable as a football player? And if you can believe this, the majority of the rookie class had no idea he even played football. For real? Does that surprise you? No, not really. <laughs> not really. He was like Monty and... Caleb and those guys, and nah, I mean, but as they should, they, they, they know now though. I think they do. Yeah. I, but it was really funny because like, no, nope, never, never heard of him. And pretty good player, you know? Yeah, they're a pretty good player. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you about your first interception at Los Angeles. How shocked were you when the ball came right to you? Oh, I was super shocked. That's why <laughs> when, I, when you see when I got it, I didn't know what to do. Like, I ran straight. I should have scored. I ran straight. I tried to get into the, the end zone as fast as I could, but I didn't know it was two big old linemen right in front of me. If I could go back, I wish I could have, you know, been more agile with it, though. A lot of times when those moments happen on an NFL team, then you have to go back into the room with the guys and you get the business pretty good. Right. Did, did they hassle you pretty good about it? Oh, man, I oh. heard it for like five days straight. Like, you really ran into the line. You really tried to run him over. <laughs> And I really go back and look at it, like I, I could have went so many different ways to score. I ran straight down the middle. But next time, I know. Next time, I know what to do. Oh, you'll score next time. All For right, sure. so here, here's the thing about David Long. You've improved every year. I, I mean, consistently from day one, you have gotten better. Yes, sir. What's allowed you to do that? I would say coaching, taking all the coaching. I think I'm a fast learner, and my want to, my want to be better, you know, plays a bigger role. And I think the chip, the chip on my shoulder, you know, coming into, you know, sixth round, you know, it's a lot that goes into, you know, me wanting to, like KBC has not proved anybody wrong, but, you know, prove myself right. You know, because I know what type of player I can be, and I know what type of player I will be, you know, as long as I'm in this league. So I just think a lot plays into that part of me just wanting to be better and me wanting to show, you know, everybody what type of player I am. Are you on the perfect team for you based on the fact that football is so important to you and you love it so much? Yeah, I think the program, the you know, the city, it, it all fits me well. I, I'm blessed to you know, be in a situation of three years straight, I'm 11 wins, you know, playoffs, you know, a lot of people don't get to do that, you know, so I, I feel like I know I landed in the right position. You know, I'm just taking advantage of it. What's the next thing for you to do to take the next step? Just continue to come into my own. You know, once I'm back out there, you know, just continue to de develop into, you know, more of a mature leader, you know, uh, everything that comes with it, you know, just keep on learning and adding to my game. And, you know, just to, you know, not only show the team, but, you know, everybody else, you know, what type of player I am. For a linebacker, it starts with that GPS to the football. You, yeah. you have to have that, that's an eight. But then what comes next to separate you and make you a great pro linebacker? The mental part. I think just the learning, you know, uh, learning offenses, film room, and I, I have the, uh, the motor, the physical part, you know, just but me continuing to become a more 
better mental player and just knowing the offenses, you know, the routes, you know, a lot of stuff that can help me play faster. I think that's what, you know, will continue to help me grow my game. And keep having fun. Keep having fun, that's number one.